Hey guys, it's Matt from Akuma Mods. Um, so today I'm going to show you guys how to remove your plates from your Elegu Mars. So you can, you know, either change out your board, change anything you want inside of the uh, the casing, I guess you could call it, or change your LCD. Uh, so this is in light because somebody was asking how to remove specifically the front plate because it is a little harder to get at. So obviously we're going to remove the screws, which we have already done, just to make this video a lot quicker. Um, so there are four screws on each side, two up, two down, and then on the opposite side there is two up, two down. So once you remove those, this back plate will slide right off with no problems. And then the thing is, is trying to get the front plate off. That one actually like clips inside, that's, that's where this red piece is. So what you're actually going to do is just take your hand and all you're going to do is push on the out, outer uh, wall. So this black uh, metal piece. You're going to push out and that'll unlock that side. Now you're going to come and do that on the other side. This side's a little harder because obviously you have your board in there. But your two fingers should do perfectly fine with pushing it out. And then you just slide it forward a little bit. And then once you got that all set up, you just slide it. Just wiggle it a little bit. <laughs> uh, just wiggle it. And then uh, don't wiggle too much because you don't want to have it flying off on you. But wiggle it just a little bit. And then there you go. There's your access to your screen, your LCD, your board, all your internals, your lights, whatever you may need to get at. So, uh, while we got this uh, un taken apart, I shouldn't say unboxed, but uh, taken apart, um, you will notice that each and every model of Elegoo, there is probably different. Let me rephrase that. There's different versions of the Elegoo Mars that I've seen. Some of them have a uh, white ribbon cable that goes up around here. I have one of the newer models. Uh, this one's probably about two months old now. And this one, you can see the LCD actually just clips right into the board there. So it's a very simple, straightforward replacement if you are needing to replace the LCD screen on here. So that is definitely uh, a big upgrade, less of a hassle, because I know on some of the videos, um, you actually see people like trying to put their finger over here to try and get it onto the board and they have to use an angled connector whereas this one doesn't need an angled connector at all um, it, like I said it's just simple straightforward plug right into the board uh, it's good and it's bad at the same time uh, it's good because it's easy to, to reuse it's bad in in my opinion because it makes their boards more proprietary uh, and that just locks them up even more, which I'm not a big fan of locked boards. Uh, but that's just my own opinion. I mean, I can deal with it. It's not the end of the world. But uh, I, I just like to have something that's more customizable, uh, in my opinion. So uh, we'll do some more videos on this. Uh, I got one that I have to unlock the uh, software on here so we can do the Z access height measure fix whatever you want to call it um so that's definitely in the works uh, i'll probably do that one tomorrow maybe later on tonight if i got some time um so look forward to that otherwise if you guys got any other uh questions comments concerns go ahead and post them below and uh if you guys like the video go ahead and uh hit that subscribe button and uh Give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy printing.